good YouTube, it's your girl. I'm still Lasia, baby. Cause every time I close my eyes, I see you. Welcome back to my channel, ladies and gentlemen. If you are new here, hello, hello, and welcome, okay? Be sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos from your girl, okay? Um, as y'all can see from the thumbnail, y'all, I'm getting, I'm getting into something a little bit different today. Shout out to Tika, okay? Because you recommended this to me on Discord. And I was like, yeah, why didn't I think of that? Okay, so as, as y'all can see from the thumbnail today, y'all, I'm getting into, uh, this is, uh, so this is True Crime Daily. This is their channel. Uh, this is, I'm Chris Hansen. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Okay, so this is the one, I guess, like kind of where they be doing like the whole how to catch a little predator or whatever. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. Um, I've seen like some episodes of these, but I feel like I watched this like probably when it first kind of started airing. I didn't really follow it that much after I kind of watched like the first little season of it, I guess, or however often he did it. Like I've seen a couple, but I haven't seen all of them. I don't even know how many there are. I don't even know how long they did this, but anyway, um, so I guess we about to jump into it. Y'all, I'm gonna stop saying, um, okay. I'm gonna... <laughs> Y'all just be, I be coming off the dome, y'all. I don't be, I don't be thinking, I don't be pre-writing my scripts and stuff, okay? I just, I just talk to y'all. But, <laughs> so, anyway, I guess let's go on and get into this video, y'all. This video is long enough, so go on and get your popcorn ready. And let's go on and get into this video, y'all. Okay, ow. Let me scoot over in my little squeaky chair. <laughs> Ugh. All right, y'all. Let's go. This 32-year-old guy wants to spend a Sunday afternoon chilling with a 13-year-old girl oh, after texting her about getting stoned. But Mike Manzi's date is about to go up in smoke. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. You'll be shocked when you hear what Manzi does for a living. He's a math tutor. You heard it right. <laughs> He teaches some of New York and Connecticut's what? wealthiest children how to solve complicated equations. Wow, which means that he's very intelligent, which means <laughs> that he knows exactly what it is that he's doing, and he took up a profession that probably works with kids. I'm, you know, just guessing. I mean, why not, you know? He teaches some of New York and Connecticut's wealthiest children how to solve complicated oh, equations. Boy. But you might say Manji flunked basic arithmetic because 32 plus 13 adds up to trouble. Hmm? Online, he calls himself Mike Thrilla. He's a self-employed tutor with a bachelor's degree in... Look at that face. Okay, y'all. Like y'all, okay. Must I say any more? I'm just saying. If I see him pop up in my little messages and stuff, y'all, I would just keep on going. Like what? Look at him. Mathematics from a small <laughs> New York college. He's obsessed with pizza, and he says he smokes marijuana often. This is the Sting House set up in Fairfield, Connecticut, an upscale town on Connecticut's hey. Gold Coast, about 50 miles from Manhattan. The watchdog group Tetrid Corps is working with the Fairfield cops to bust adult men looking to spend time with 12 and 13 year old children. Yeah, get them. Inside and outside, we've set up more than a dozen hidden cameras. And in our virtual control room, Tetrid's operatives are communicating with Manzi. Any update on Mike? Uh, Mike's supposed to be on his way. These are some of the texts the 32 year old man who calls himself Mike Thrilla sent to our decoy, who he thought was 13. Did you blaze? You're my soulmate. Wow, you are so cute. You look way older, by the way. Uh, doesn't that just, that just, everything about all of this just makes me want to throw up, y'all, in my mouth, literally. Like, I can't even imagine talking to a little, like a little boy, like my, girl, um, look at me. I'm going to say girl, like, y'all, a little boy. Okay, in my right mind, I just feel like if I was to even think, like, look at a little 12 or 13-year-old boy, I'm going to be like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What what can you do for me? Along with that, why would 
don't you even look? Why is there any interest? That's just, y'all, that's just, that's just gross as hell. Okay, it's gross as hell. Please? You're my soulmate. Wow, you are so oh. cute. You look way older, by the way. But he also admits he shouldn't be talking to a 13-year-old. Well, you're cool and cute, too. I just know I could get in trouble even talking to you, you know? <gasps> but Manzi continues texting. But you he later it. appears to become suspicious and asks the decoy to send a custom pic with his name on it. His fears that the girl isn't real are apparently quashed. The date is set, and on a crisp autumn day, Manzi arrives at the Sting House. Yes, I did. Sorry, I'm being like a little. No, it's weird. Right. This is like weird. Well, it's not. It's not so much that it's weird. It's well. I, I, no, it's weird. <laughs> you weird as hell. Okay, you. Y'all don't even know why I started watching this because this I already know this is about to irritate the hell out of me. It's weird as hell, weirdo. Well, it's not. It's not so much that it's weird. It's well. I. What Manzi doesn't know is that I am waiting for him right behind that curtain. Mike Manzi is a math tutor. A smart guy who suspected something seemed weird in our sting house. But he never calculated that I would be the one behind the curtain. Hey, how are you? I'm good. Good. Why don't you have a seat right on that stool, please? Sure. No, right here, sir. No, no, I, I know. Please, right there. Y'all see how he grabbed that phone? He like, let me hurry up and get these messages up out of my phone as if, dude. <laughs> he hurried up and grabbed that phone. Right, sir. Sit, please. Okay. I need to talk to you. Well, what are you doing here today? Well, I'm I'm here because I was slightly concerned. Concerned about what? Well, concerned because she's talking to people that are a lot younger, a lot older on the website. Now, why were you wow, so concerned? Oh yeah, a lot younger. You know, your ass is talking to people a lot younger. Okay, you can't even get your story straight. You see how, how he done started chomping his gum, y'all? Talking to people that are a lot younger, Boy, a lot older quiet. on the website. Now, why were you so concerned about a 13-year-old girl? Well, well, she's talking to other people that are obviously the same age as me. And how old are you? I'm 32. You're 32? Yes. So you came over to make sure she was okay? Well, I came over just to make sure that... Everything was fine. Everything was okay. <laughs> I was not... Y'all, I was trying not to cuss. I was trying not to cuss, y'all. But he, y'all, come on now. Boy, when I tell you, you talking about an intelligent person, y'all, he can come up with a story on top of his head, okay? It, it almost sound believable. Only, only ain't nobody stupid, okay? Boy, hush. Make sure she was okay. Well, I came over just to make sure that everything was fine. Everything was okay. I was not. <laughs> so you're okay. going to search the house just I now bet. to make sure what? Well, Bad guys I don't here. Well, I mean, I don't know. I can. She could come. She could be here with a group of people, for all I know. And she obviously was. I mean, don't you think? Don't what? you think that would be like a safe idea? What was today's lesson supposed to be? Today, today's lesson for today's me. Today's lesson for you. Today's lesson for me was to not, unfortunately, really worry about other people. Wow, y'all, y'all see, he had to think, y'all, he had to think, cause I'm like, yeah, what, what, what was today's lesson? What, what were, you, what, what reason did you have to come over here for real? Uh, <laughs> looking at not. Unfortunately, really worry about other people. Uh, now, you're a tutor, with, correct? Mm -hmm. And who do you tutor? I tutor. I tutor our, our, these, these ages, older and ages. What do you tutor them in? Um, mathematics. Mathematics. Mm -hmm. What about smoking marijuana? Well, I mean, it's not really something that I try to tutor people in, but well, still. It seems like it from the chat here. <laughs> well, you're cool and cute, too. I just know I could get in trouble even talking to you, you know. Well, yes, of course, but you know. Ooh, 
Ooh, he's sweating. Ooh, he's sweating. Y'all look at that forehead. Look, his nose starting to get shiny, y'all. <laughs> Look, may I please leave? Not I'm not. Yet. Okay. Not yet. I have some more questions for you. Will I be able to leave after your question? Did you blaze? Wait. Yes. Sir? Yes. Wait, are you answering me or are you reading stuff? Yes. You can leave after I ask you a couple questions. Are you sure? Are there police outsider? I'll thing? get to that. The please, day. sir, can you please just tell me? Because I really can't. Oh, I... So what it looks like, Mike, is that you came here mm -hmm. to smoke weed with a 13-year-old girl, and then whatever was going to happen was going to happen. Yeah, but that's not entirely oh. what was going on. Oh. Explain it to me. Well, I just told you. I was coming here to make sure everything was okay. Right. It really Did wasn't that far. Right, right. I wanted to make sure that right. there was no, no like, obviously, like, she invited me in and there were not. So you were just being a good Samaritan today. Well, I was trying to, to a certain extent, yeah. but, like. Yeah, I drove all the way over here to check out the premises, make sure the girl was safe. You know, I wasn't really coming to tutor her, but we was going, you know what I'm saying? We was going to blaze up real quick, but then after that, you know what I'm saying? I was going to just make my way. You know what I'm saying? I was in the neighborhood, so I just decided to stop by and... Yeah. <laughs> it's so full of it, y'all. I can't... These stories, y'all, they be killing me with this. I cannot. You are so busted. So busted. So you were just being a good Samaritan today. Well, I was trying to, lying to a certain that. extent, lying. but like... <laughs> you know, I was coming here to, to make sure everything was okay. 13-year-old I mean, girl. I deal with kids all the time. Right. Would you right, think right. that the parents of the kids you tutor would be comfortable with you coming to visit a 13-year-old girl after talking about smoking marijuana and hanging Probably out? Probably not. You're Probably right. Probably not. You're right. Now, you tutor kids. Sir, may I ask you a question? Yes, you may. First off, that is not completely true. I, I, I have a couple more questions for you. <sighs> I really don't want to answer any more questions, and I feel... Do you have marijuana with you? No, I do not. Is it in your car? No, it is not. Then why did you say you were going to come over here and blaze? What's I the lighter for? I smoke cigarettes They're in my car. Again, you see how this looks. I know how it looks, and I'm A 32-year-old guy who deals with kids all the time comes over to visit a 13-year-old girl who's alone after a discussion about smoking marijuana together. Wow. Sir, I understand this. I'm sorry. You, right? Mm -hmm. Do you blaze? Mm -mm. Did you blaze? Yes. You're my soulmate. You call a 13-year-old girl a soulmate? We were just what talking. Come on, please. Come on, you're 32. You got nothing right. else to do on a Sunday? <laughs> I'm trying to watch, going to watch football. Yeah. Here with a 13-year-old girl after you blazed. You see how this Look, looks. I know how it looks. I'm very sorry. May I please leave? I bet your ass is sorry now, okay? <laughs> sorry you got caught. Get his ass, Steve ass. <laughs> you see how this looks. I know how it looks. I'm very sorry. May I please leave? Math tutor Mike Manzi's no, number is up. He thought he was going to spend the day smoking pot with a 13-year-old girl. Instead, he's spending it with me and the police. Yeah. There's something you is, need to know. Is there cops? I'm There's yeah. something you need to know. Please. I'm Chris Hansen. No, you're not. Is I? No, you're not. Yes, I am. <laughs> please let me go home, guys. Sir, Guys, it'd be best if you oh, went please. out this door. No, because I'm going to get arrested. I know it's going to happen. Sir, I really can't afford to do this. I can't. I'm really not here for any malintent. I really can't. Please Man. do not. Look at the chat. I really just want to... Please let me go home. Guys. Ain't nobody trying to hear that. Ain't nobody trying to hear that. Okay? Because if that was my dark dude... Y'all, I couldn't be a part of this show. I could not be a part of this show. I don't want to be the officer. I don't want to be the cameraman. Okay, because I would have just reached over and just popped them in the back of the damn head. Okay, that would be the day. That would be the day, y'all. I ain't going to say what else I would have did, okay? But I'm just saying, you in there with somebody's freaking 13-year-old child. Child. Please do not. Look at the chat. I really just want to... <laughs> Please let me go home, guys. No, hell no, don't let his ass go home. Please, no, I can't. No. I can't, I won't. Yeah. Please, can't go yeah. This way. Please, no, man. You can't this. Guys, oh, this is horrible. Yeah. This is horrible. There's only one way out, through the garage, where the Fairfield, Connecticut cops are waiting with a pair of handcuffs with his name on them. <laughs> police. Yeah. I know, I know. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. Oh, please. Put your hand behind your back. Guys. Hands behind guys. your back. Guys, guys. Straight. Listen, follow the instructions. Follow, just follow the instructions. Follow the instructions, okay? Just calm down. Just follow the instructions. No, I can't. We'll explain it. No, no, just please. relax. Please, please. Relax. I can't. <laughs> Manzi argues with the cops, and while he's not resisting arrest, he sure isn't being overly cooperative. 
Listen closely. The cops tell Manzi they may have to pull out the taser. You're gonna get to Kneel down. I'm gonna what? You're gonna Kneel get down. I'm gonna get down. I'm gonna get down. Right, get down. Kneel okay. down. I'm getting down. All right. We'll explain everything to you, okay? He's put into the back of the unmarked car and hauled off to the police okay. station. Yeah. The only numbers this math tutor will be crunching today are how much his bail will be. My thing is, you old enough and intelligent enough to know what you're getting yourself into when you sign up for shit like that. Not only that, but then you drove all the way over there with the intentions on doing whatever. God knows what, <laughs> okay? With a with a with a child, and then when somebody comes up and, and shows up and you get caught and you start begging that you sorry and you know this looks bad, like, well, how 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 do you think of that now? Why didn't you think of that before you took your ass over there? You know what I'm saying, y'all? I ain't finna play. I ain't finna play with these people today. No sir, lock his ass up and throw away the key. Yes, Mike, we are. He takes off his jacket before posing for a mugshot. His t-shirt is a math equation. It's a t-shirt popular with graduates of MIT, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. But he didn't go there. He got his degree from a small New York college. All right, face the wall. As he's booked, he bites his fingernails. The lace has got to come out of your shoes. Are you right-handed? Left-handed. And then he's fingerprinted before he decides to waive his right to remain silent and speak to detectives. So now that you've read all this and you understand it, you're willing to talk to me about, we can talk about what happened today? Yes. OK. Yes, we can. All right. During the interrogation with the detective, Manzi fidgets a lot. <sighs> he lets out a big sigh, but it's understandable. He's on the hot seat in the ice-cold interrogation room. I do. I understand the age right. difference. I and do. it's important that you understand that. I do. I do. I understand the age difference. In right. that, and, and that's why I really was not intending on doing anything with this girl. What would you think right. when, when she said right. she was 13? I just, I, I, I really felt like there was definitely a position that she was putting herself in okay. that wasn't, wasn't going to be a, a good one. Yeah. And she said that her... Mother was coming home today. Right. Until about about six o'clock. So I was I was gonna go there. I was gonna go hang out. And if her if her mother ended up you know coming in, I would have explained to her what was going on. Oh but that, my God! If her mother would have came home, sir, you probably wouldn't be sitting in that chair. Okay. You 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 wouldn't have walked out of my house. Okay. <laughs> and I'm gonna just say that I'm gonna leave it at that. You wouldn't have been walking out of my house. If her mother ended up, you know, coming in, I would have explained to her what was going on. But that, you know, besides that, that would have been, that's all I would have done. Were you guys going to go out to eat or anything? I know you guys talk about food a lot in we here. We did talk a lot about food, but we didn't. I was getting hungry kind of. Actually, I wasn't the, sure. The I have no idea of, of right. what was, you know. You guys talk about weed a lot. Were you, you guys yeah, we smoke? spoke about that a little bit. Were, yeah. were the plan to smoke and, and eat? And... Um, I mean... You know, I was planning on trying to, like, just, like I said, being there, make sure things were okay. I would have definitely sat down and ate. I would have hung out, you know, but that's that's pretty much it. Right. The detectives ask him about a text exchange with Tetrid's decoy when he called who he thought was a 13-year-old <laughs> girl his soulmate. I'm going to do some yoga later, LOL. How's your downward dog? You remember what you said? No, I don't, but you can... How's your downward dog? Well, okay, yeah, but that's a yoga move still. But it is, but yeah, like come on. I mean, I'm I a guy, you're a guy. I, I, I get it. So I, you're putting a, a 13 year old girl uh -huh. into some sort of danger. A 13 year old who can't, who can't make those decisions and judgments on their own because of their age, and that's why they have the law. Because Manzi never sent any sexual texts, he was charged only with one felony: criminal attempt to commit risk of injury to a minor. He pleaded guilty and got a suspended sentence of three years and was placed on probation. Mm. Do you think he was up to more than just sharing a joint? Man. No, I don't know. I... So now he gets the opportunity to put, potentially go out there and do this all over again to somebody else's child. Like... <laughs> 
Okay, that's just finished. I mean, you, you know, it, it's hard to say, but that's an example of somebody that, that we entrust to make our kids and child's lives better. It, it happens all the time. We have baseball coaches, we have mm -hmm. uh, tutors, we have piano teachers, gymnasts. We have all these people that interact with our children, and we hope that they're guiding them in the right way. This is an example of somebody that, that certainly was inappropriate and guiding that child in a different way. But clearly his behavior is inappropriate. Manzi dodged a big bullet. You might say the teacher learned the lesson today. Don't contact underage children. <sighs> yeah. This irritates me. For multiple reasons. Yeah, okay, he got off with a felony and then a, a three-year suspension and he got off on probation. But I'm like, what do you think the likelihood of him going back out here and doing this all over again to somebody else, okay? Male or female, because nobody is off limits, okay? And, and if you thought so, you're wrong, <laughs> okay? Know that, okay? But the fact that he's able to just go back out here in these streets. Now, granted, he's on probation. Yeah, you got to check in. I'm sure, you know what I'm saying, they drug testing him, all that kind of stuff, y'all. But at the end of the day, I mean, he's right. What's, what's really, really scary, I think the most frightening part of it all is that we do entrust our kids with these other adults, especially, you know, obviously, they go to school every day. We can't go to school with them. You know what I mean? They go to PE. Some of them... You know, like me, when I, back in the day for me, I don't know if they still do this, but they probably change clothes, y'all. They got to change clothes into their little gym clothes to, to go to athletics and stuff like that. And then, you know, so they changing. They got coaches and stuff going through their gymnasts, teachers, you know, you name it. <laughs> What's scary is that I'm like the vulnerability that we leave our kids. And I'm just like, y'all, that's why anytime my kids are doing stuff, I'm always there football games, basketball games, gymnastics, whatever. I'm going to sit my behind there the whole time, and I don't care. If I can't see my kid, then we ain't coming because <laughs> I need to see what's going on at all times, at all times. It's like that. And I'm sure it's a lot of mommies and a whole lot of daddies out there that probably feel the exact same way. So I know I ain't crazy. I know I ain't crazy. And if you felt some type of way about this whole video, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you, okay? Even even if he he didn't get no no real true whole conviction of a predator of being somebody's molester, whatever you want to call reg register sex offender, whatever, okay? <laughs> I bet you nine times out of ten he gonna go do it again. I bet you. Just saying. So y'all, let me know what y'all think about this. Sorry I talked a whole lot, but y'all, these kind of these kind of videos right here, they be getting me in my feelings. Especially, you know what I'm saying? I got a I got a baby girl. You know what I'm saying? I got I got a whole son that's 12 years old, and I cannot even fathom. <laughs> I cannot even fathom the thought of something like that happening to my kids. <laughs> I can't even tell y'all like the 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 amount of animosity that builds just for me, just thinking about that. Anyway, if y'all enjoyed this video, be sure you give me a big thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos from your girl. And if ain't nobody told you, I love you. <laughs> and I'm going to see y'all in the next video, y'all. I love y'all. Bye-bye.